Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the video, and here today is, is the first part of this big PS3 tutorial that I had talked about previously in the video right before this one. I'm not going to cover everything all over again. Uh, if you haven't, just go ahead and watch that video. I'll put the link in the description. So this is the one I have up right here on my screen right now. It talks about this series of tutorials that we're doing and uh, what the plan is for the rest of the year and what the you know ultimate goal is uh, with the, all these tutorials is you know really for you to be able to make stuff like your own you know GTA mods like this you know something comprehensive like this and not just for this game but pretty much for any game or even something like this PS3 you know XMB extras where you know you make your own game disc that pretty much launches um, you know there from the XMB and then you know it has a bunch of selectable stuff that will install you know from images to waves fonts other apps and programs whatever the case may be it's going to be insane the amount of stuff that you'll be able to do once we get all this stuff covered but of course before you do any of that you have to be armed with the right tools and that's what these first couple of videos will be about it's just arming yourself with the right stuff that you're going to need and in this first part what better way to start than with the granddaddy of all ps3 tools which is ps3 tools by aldos vargas and Aldo, you may know him from his work. Um, he's the one who made Iris Man, which I'm sure you're familiar with that program, um, as well as all the Webman mod stuff. That's his stuff. He's very well known in the development community, very well respected, and is an overall just a nice guy. Um, so these are his tools, and you know, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of content. And, uh, and stuff that we are going to cover. So um, let's go ahead first and let's, um, before we start the, the installation, let's cover some housekeeping stuff. So the first thing is that I'm going to show you how to install this based on how I did it, where I really didn't run into any problems. And I'm, I'm going to show you basically one, you know, what if scenario in case you run into an issue. Make sure you follow all of the steps throughout this video and through the rest of the tutorials uh, very carefully. I didn't make these tools. I'm also not an expert at Windows. Everybody's setup is different. If you run into a problem that's other than what we're going to cover here, make sure you go to the link in the description that takes you straight to the thread that contains um, you know, these tools. And there you can ask you know, whatever problems you're having with the installation. And hopefully one of the developers or Aldo himself will chime in and help you out. The next thing is that when you install this, guys, you more than likely your antivirus will get tripped. And that's common. Don't worry about it. Those will be false positives, I assure you. Those of you who've been on my channel for a while should know that um, if there is anything that's foul, um, I'm not going to tell you to run it or install it. This is something that I've been personally using for the last few years, um, you know, and I update it every now and then when it needs to get updated. Uh, developers, if you go to PSX Place in particular, for example, developers there, most of them, if not all of them, have been using one or some or most of these tools um, for a very long time without any issues. It's just because of some of the things that the tools do that will cause these false positives uh, to trip on your antivirus. So just go ahead and give it access or permission or just turn off the antivirus until you install the tools. And then once you're done, then you can go ahead and turn it back on. All right, now I know that once you guys get this uh, installed, some of you are gonna be asking me, hey, what does this do? What does that do? I'm trying to use this, but it doesn't work. How come it's not working, blah, blah, blah. You know, cause there's a lot of stuff here. And look guys, honestly, I'm not gonna be able to cover absolutely everything that's in this in this tool set um, because that's not the plan. The plan is just to cover the things that you are going to need uh, to make projects like the GTA tool mods that I did, the Black Ops tool mods and things like that. Um, but if you're gonna ask me something that I'm gonna cover in a future video, I'm just gonna tell you wait till the video comes out. If you don't wanna wait, uh, then you can just go to the link that's in the description that'll take you to the forum where this thread is located and you can ask your questions there or in one of the other forums. Otherwise, just be patient and wait till we cover it. 
All right, so let's go ahead and finally get on with the install. Download the zip file. You're going to just drag the folder to your desktop that's in the zip, which is called PS3 Tools and Install. Once you drag it to your desktop, which I have right here, you're going to open it up. You'll see four files on there, which is the folder one, folder two, the instructions on how to install this properly, and then um, the installer, the .exe installer, is inside of this zip file. So the instructions are right here, which I already have them open on this side, and we'll be covering them as we go along. In uh, this zip here is where the installer is, as I mentioned before. Go ahead and open that zip file, and you're going to want to drag and drop the installer to your desktop. Now, I've already covered with you that this might trip your antivirus or whatever, so just make sure you paid attention to that, um, what I had said earlier. And uh, I have Microsoft Security Essentials, for example, and this was tripping it, so I just temporarily turned it off. All right, so now that you've dragged this out here, we're going to go ahead and right-click on it and hit Run as Administrator and just let it run. Now, I've already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it again, but just hit Yes or OK when you're prompted to, and then just uh, let it install and allow it to finish. And let's go to the next step. Okay, so now that's that installed, we're going to go ahead and look for it. We're going to go into the folder itself. I would also leave this folder that has the four files from the zip open. Let's go ahead and go into the C drive now that it's done installing. We're going to go to our local disk C drive there. Now you're going to go to users. Then you're going to go here to your username, and in my case it's Zoilus. And then right here you should see your PS3 tools folder. Go into it, and then here... If you're going to be using this quite a bit, I would suggest you right-click on it and send a shortcut to your desktop. So right-click on it and then click Desktop Create Shortcut. Um, mine is already here in the corner, see, uh, because I use it quite a bit, so I strongly suggest you do that. Now we're going to go ahead and click into that. All right, and right here we're going to pause for a second and move this over to the side because there's something we need to do. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to go into folder one over here uh, from the folder that um, you unzipped. We'll go into folder one and this file, the msvbvm50.dll, you can just copy it and paste it here into this folder. So you can see mine is already there. Now, if you don't trust this file, you can go here where the instructions are that I included in the original zip file and it tells you where you can download this file directly from Microsoft so you can see that there is nothing in it, right? Um, but it is safe, I assure you, and you could go ahead and just paste it here. Once you've done that, now let's go ahead and go here to where it says ps 3 toolsmenuexe and I suggest you also send the shortcut to your desktop, and I've already done that, it's right here, okay, right there, and if you double click on it, this is what opens up the tools main menu. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go here into the Tools folder. All right, and take a look at this here. There's a lot of stuff. And a lot of these blue boxes, some of them are here. When you click on the main menu for the Tools, some of these programs here are the ones that are right here. And some of them are located in other places within these folders. For example, in the Brute Force Save Data, uh, the Brute Force... Uh, program is right here. Okay, we're going to be talking about all that stuff later on in future videos. For right now, let's continue with the install. We're going to go here into the SCE tool folder. In case you're not too sure, you're going to come over to the uh, folder that you unzipped, right? And we're going to go into folder number two. And if you go into the README text, it tells you where to insert these three files. So basically, you're going to take these three files here that are located in folder number two, and you're going to put them over here in the SCE tool folder and just copy them in, okay? And once you copy them in, you'll be good to go. We're going to be using those in the future video uh, for something that we're going to do later on down the road. So go ahead and do that and let's move on. Okay, and now that we've done that, let's go ahead and we're going to back out of this once. And there's the SCE tool folder we were just in. Okay, so we're going to stop right here just for a second. And we can go ahead and we can close out this folder, the one you unzip that has the uh, four files. Um, you can, of course, open up and leave open the instructions, which are going to cover a few things. So you can leave that open if you want. 
I'm going to close it. Now, at this point, we're going to experiment. You can take one of the smaller package files like Rebug or something like that, my KMZ um, base loader tool, which is only six or seven megabytes. You can use that. Use a smaller package file, something that has, you know, six, seven, eight, ten megabytes. That's pretty small, so we can scan it real quick. Um, and then once you have that package file, right click on it and you should see a package tools entry on your context menu. And then when you highlight it, you got all these options here. This only pops up when you right click on a package file. So if I right click on, you know, let's say this here, it's not going to give me that option. Only when we're on a package file. Now, if you don't have this, we need to move on to the next step. Those of you who do have it, keep watching the video because we're going to cover other things besides this here in a few minutes, so or in a couple of minutes. Um, so just keep watching the video. For those of you who don't have this, let's move on to the next step. So our goal here ultimately is to make sure that the package tool option shows up when you right click on a package. So if it hasn't by now, let's go ahead and go on to the next step. Uh, we're back here again. All right. Remember, we went to the SCE tool folder. Well, if you look right above that, you should see this folder that's called registry patches. We're going to go into the registry patches folder and then we are going to click on the registry file that says remove PS3 tools file associations okay we're gonna go to that one right there and double click on it it should just execute but if it asks you for approval just hit OK or yes or continue or whatever and then once that's done you're gonna back out one okay and you're gonna be back out here again and you're gonna look for the uh, package content ID exe file which is right here okay it's right there and uh, again the instructions that are packed in the main zip We'll cover all of this. Okay, here's the file name right there. And what you're going to do is when you are over this, you're going to right click on it. You're going to go to properties. And then you are going to click the compatibility tab. Come down here. Make sure you tick on this box. You check mark the box that says run this program as administrator. And then you're going to click apply and OK. When you've done that, double click on the package content ID exe file and launch it right here we're gonna hit yes okay and it should launch and that window should open up now maybe you have to reboot after this but you shouldn't have to now go ahead and right click on the package file and see if the package tool option shows up if it doesn't go ahead and reboot your uh, PC again and uh, and try it if it still doesn't show up we have one more option to try to uh, get it to show up so let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is at this point we are in step four of the main instructions. Okay, we're going to change the DEP settings. So we're going to do that by going into our control panel. When you're in your control panel, there's a couple of ways you can go about this. Um, I like to kind of do it this way. You can come up here to category and just make sure it says like large icons. And then we can scroll down here to um, system. There it is right there, system, okay? And then we're going to go into advanced system settings. And then you are going to click on the advanced tab. And then you're going to go into the um, settings button here in the performance section. So click on that. And then right here is the DEP, otherwise known as the data execution prevention. Now, as you can see, I have a few things here. You're really only going to concern yourself with two of these. Um, and really, it's only one, but we're going to do one of these here for later on. Um, so yours is probably blank. You may have nothing here. So let's go ahead and add some stuff. Click the Add button. And then we're going to click up here all the way. Whoops, I went a little bit too far. Our goal is to get to uh, the C drive. So there we go. Let's go to the C drive. Now we're going to go to Users. Find your, uh, your PC name right there. Mine is Zoilus. Go into the PS3 Tools folder, PS3 Tools folder again, and then into the Tools folder one more time. Now we're going to scroll down, and right here, you're going to find the package content ID exe, the one we messed with before, right? So you're just going to double click on that one and then hit OK if I ask you to OK or whatever, and it should appear here, right? So that'll be that one. Then we're going to scroll up. And we're going to go to brute force save data. 
and we're going to go here to brute force save data dot exe and we're going to select that one oh, and by the way you might have to hit add again so once you pick the package file one hit add again and then come here and pick the brute force save data exe and then you should have these two right there right so um once you click on them and they appear there make sure you put the little check mark in front of each box and then you're going to hit apply and then you're going to hit OK. And we're going to close out of all of this and you may have to reboot again your PC. And once you reboot it, go ahead and right click. And now after all that, the package tools option should appear when you right click on a package file. All right. And that's pretty much it. That's what I did to get mine to work. So if you're still having problems, you may have to get with one of the developers or the developer himself um, in the uh, thread. Again, the link is in the description that takes you straight to that thread. Okay, now once you've succeeded in doing that and you have this, anytime you open up a package file, I would suggest you do it inside of like a folder uh, because, you know, sometimes they can have multiple files or whatever, or it can get confusing. So, you know, like this one here, I made a folder just called testing, open that, and then let's go ahead and drag our um, package file in there. I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit extract here. If the package file is big, like my Black Ops tool one that's almost 500 megabytes, that's going to take a while to unpack. This one is really small, so I did it really quick. When it unpacks it, it'll make the folder. So here's the folder. And then this, you can always ignore. This is just a log that the um, contact, uh, content ID thing makes, so we can always delete that. You never need it. And then here is the folder. Now, if you look at this, this is familiar. This is, says KMZ MULTTL. This will be the folder when it installs into your PS3, um, into the HDD0 slash game folder. Not games, but game. This is the folder that installs there. And so you, you can see that name right there. And if we go into it, you'll see that these files should look familiar to you. There's the USR DIR, there's the icon, there's the pic, and you can change all of these. Now in the next episode, we're going to talk more about packages as well as Param SFOs and how to edit those. And, uh, and yeah, um, we're going to work on that next. But here it is, okay? And then when you package it back up again, you have to come out here to this folder, right click on it, and hit make package and just hit yes and it will make uh, the package all right now this was quick because it's small when it's done it's always going to show something like this because the name that it puts will be the name of the eboot uh, the the ID of the eboot and this is the ID the eboot has so that's why it's showing that but when it makes the package at this point you can change that name and make it absolutely anything you want because when it installs it will still install correctly this folder will install where it belongs along with all the files what you name the package file is completely irrelevant always make sure that the dot pkg stays there and it must be lowercase if it's uppercase the ps3 will not find it. So the next video, stay tuned. We're going to cover more stuff about packages as well as param SFOs and maybe a few other stuff. So make yourself a little bit familiar with the tools and we'll get more into this in the next chapter. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.